All right, let's talk about this for a second. This is a large piece of cedar that I got from my buddy Greg's mom, Donna. Um, Donna and Frank are building a house together out in Darlington, South Carolina. And while we were there looking around at their, um, what they've achieved, she had this, uh, along with some other wood that were cut into slabs. She's finishing one piece right now for a piece of furniture. And I saw this, and I don't know why, but my brain went wild thinking about how I could design this into a podcast studio table. And some of you may have heard me talk about possibly having a podcast studio here in the house. And um, my wife and I have kind of discussed it a bit, and we're going to move forward with it. Um, I'm going to spend a little time, though, and kind of refinish this. I went to uh, Harbor Freight, and I picked up a 7-inch variable speed polisher sander and made sure to get the hook and loop uh, sanding pads for it. I got an 80 grit, a 150, and a 240. That's as small as they go. Um, they had an online coupon for 20% off, so all of that plus some little foam paint brushes was like 40 bucks or 40 something dollars. Anyway, it wasn't bad. So uh, she kind of talked to me about what she did to do hers, and I'm just going to pick away at some of this loose stuff. Uh, and then sand it a bit and just kind of see how it goes. All right, so here we go. All right, I've gone to town on it with this 80 grit, and uh, I've gotten a lot of these really rough edges out of here. Um, smoothed down. I also dug out some of these pieces that were loose and just sort of rounded the edges. Um, took some some length out of here. This right here stuck out really far and I'm not done shaping that up. I want to shape that up a little bit more. Um, I kind of don't want that to go out too far. I kind of want this nub to be about even with that nub so I may shave off another about a half an inch or an inch off of that end. I am going to leave this knot and I'm going to leave that knot although I'm going to shape that down just a little bit more. But this is one side of it. I just kind of wanted to show the progress thus far. Uh, this thing here works really good. So that's a good purchase from uh, Old Harbor Freight. Um, I did the sides here just to get them smoothed out just so I could see what it's like, kind of feel what it's like. Um, I didn't, I wasn't able to get the, the, the sanding side in here, but I kind of like this texture. I think I may use a, a hand uh, sand and just sand that a little smooth. I like that texture to it. I may just finish it like that. I got a little gouge here. I got to kind of clean up a little bit. But um, but I like the look of it. You can see all the red dust on the ground. I was covered in red dust too from the from the cedar. Uh, it smells great, by the way. But um, I got a little rough edge right here I need to kind of knock down. But anyway, I just wanted to show the progress. All right. All right, so I've gone over it again on both sides, and I've used my little mouse sander. See the little mouse sander? And I've also hand sanded some of these low spots on the sides that kind of give it character. I really don't want to smooth that out too much. I think what I've got now looks really good. The color on the cedar really came through. And uh, I've watched some videos online where people put up like some of that blue uh, tape and then fill in these cracks with epoxy. And I think I may do that. I think I may run to Lowe's and grab some of that epoxy stuff and um, come back and tape this off and pour some epoxy in those holes and let it fill in. Um, I'll show you this other side. This other side is sanded really well. It's really great colors. You can kind of see through here a little bit. I may have to tape up one side to epoxy a hole and then tape up the other side to epoxy a hole, but that's fine. I can do that. The color looks great. And I'm not sure which side I want to be my tabletop. I don't know if I want this side to be my tabletop. It has a lot of character. Um, I would be sitting on the side with the knot, I do believe, but I'm not 100% sure. I don't know. 
I'm giving it some thought. I may not. I may, uh, I don't know. I may sit over here. Because this is kind of flush. I did knock down that high side. Let's see, this, that was the high side. I knocked that down a little bit. So now these are somewhat even, even though they still have some character and they're smoothed off. Everything's really smooth, smoothed off on the ends. Um, I think it looks fantastic. So anyway, I just want to show you the progress. I've got this cedar wood stuff all over the garage. My Rambler is uh, a little dusty. <clears throat> I'm sure the wife will have some fun stuff to say about that. All right, so I wiped it down good with some mineral spirits. You can see the color really come out. Um, I got some of this eco-friendly mineral spirits and it's white and it's kind of globbed up. I want to get some different kind and go over it again. But the grain in this looks beautiful. Alright, I went to Lowe's and I got some decent mineral spirits. So, this is with a good coating of the mineral spirits. This cedar wood has got a beautiful finish to it. I'm going to let this dry really, really well. I've coated both sides. I'm going to let this dry really, really well. And then I bought some of this fiberglass resin. Um, apparently it bonds to wood and concrete and fiberglass and metal. And it's clear. So I got that. And then I got this. This is what uh, Donna recommended I use. This Helmsman Clear Gloss uh, Urethane. She did several coats. And I also got this blue tape that I'm going to use on the corner here to kind of build this up as a edge. And that way the resin will dry and you can still see inside of here. I wanted to be able to still see inside of there but yet that be flat. So anyway, that's coming. All right, so I came out here this morning to make sure everything was cleaned up really well. And I've got this fiberglass resin made by Bondo. And it comes with a little hardening tube. And it says to mix it just a few drops for every, you know, so many amount of liquid or whatever. So what I did was I taped this up so that I wanted to do this edge because I had some deep gouges right here. Um, I taped this up really well so it wouldn't go through. And I had to reapply tape a couple times because I had a few drops on the ground. Uh, but now that I've got it taped up good, it's holding the the, uh, the, the resin. Um, and I've poured in enough that it kind of comes over it. Because my idea is that if you get it high enough, then you can sand down the excess. Um, <clears throat> I also did the same thing right here. This, I found out by when I cleaned it with the mineral spirits, it had uh, a hole that went all the way through. Uh, so on the other side, I've taped it up really well so it doesn't drip through and I filled in the hole there. Um, mixing it with some of that hardener as I went. Now, part of the thing here is that because that goes all the way through, whenever the liquid is in here, it does drain into here and I've had to add it. I've had to add additional resin several times. Um, I took a brush and just kind of brushed it in these cracks. I got little tiny cracks here and there. And I just wanted to add a little bit of extra something to them so that they are a little more reinforced I guess you'd say. Um, of course once this is all sanded again uh, and dried thoroughly uh, I'm gonna flip it over and do the other side. Well once this is dried thoroughly let me rephrase. Once this is dried thoroughly I'm gonna flip it over and do the other side and then I'll sand it and see if it needs to have more to just make this smooth. This is going to be a long process. I know people got excited when I showed some photos the other day of mineral spirits on it and how shiny it was. It's not done. Far from it. That just happened to be because it looked wet. That's why it looked like that. So anyway, I uh, just want to give you guys an update as of right now. And you can see there's a divot in here now. It's because it is draining 
down inside of there. A FedEx man. So anyway, uh, I'll have more updates as I go. Thanks. Okay, I did all that work on Wednesday, and what I'm left with does not look exactly like I wanted. You notice here I got some runoff from the extra. <clears throat> I don't have any under here, which tells me this didn't run through. That's good. I'm kind of curious. It's still wet. Still has a wetness to it. So it probably needs some hardener if it hasn't dried now. I've already got it on my finger. Yay. Alright. Well, I'm learning. Like I said, this is a process. <clears throat> Alright, thank goodness I had some mineral spirits. I just cleaned that mess up off the table. Um, I was able to scrape up some of that resin and mix in some more hardener and level this out a bit. You can see it's pretty level now. So I want to get this thing to dry and obviously the hardener will help. Um, I taped up the bottom even more that way it won't come through. So that should cut off that nonsense. Yeah, so here we go.